Hello. How are you doing? Sorry, I've been uh, gone for a few days as a buddy flew up uh, from uh, South Florida and I uh, took him out to the cabin and uh, was showing him some farmland uh, just yesterday. Me and him and a realtor, he is looking for a farm, so I went to look at a, a few farms uh, here in uh, Kentucky. Um, a lot of people post and I find it the complete opposite of productive. They're emotional, irrational. You know, they, you know, they express their feelings, and that's good for, like, your kitty cat and your children, you know, and your loved ones, but it, uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, dire matters in the world, you know, I, I never listen to anything after anybody says, I believe, or what do you believe? Anything after the word, I believe, what do you believe? You know, I just, it's just, it's garbage. Anybody you know, wanting to express their feelings on matters is perfectly fine. It's like, well, you have the right to do so, but I also have the right not to pay it any heed, not listen to it, because it's not spoken from a place of forethought, introspection, and wisdom. A lot of people have completely reactive wills. Yeah, kind of like, not that you should do that, like flick a wild dog and it's, you know, behind. It won't even think it will have a complete nerve reaction and spin around and probably bite your hand. That's completely reactive. You know, wiser minds and cooler minds are proactive. You know, they weigh options. Well, I do this, then that will happen. And if I do that, then that will happen. And if that happens, then that happens. What shocks me, and nothing really shocks me, actually, I take that back because I'm not shocked anymore, is that people have become completely oblivious to the fact that actions have consequences. Not always, but I mean, they do in one form or another. So I'd like to get to the facts here. And uh, by the way, there was a huge uh, protest today. So apparently it's supposed to be over 100,000 people marched on uh, D.C. today. And they were spray painting all sorts of buildings and stuff. And, you know, they were spreading you know, vile invictives and, you know, just, you know, the sort of um, evil, unintelligent stuff that you would expect out of people that have no forethought whatsoever at all. Of course, not everybody was doing that, but a significant number were. I personally, whatever you think about this one way or another, at least I'm being brutally honest with you, I absolutely myself have basically no respect uh, for people that uh, usurp uh, emotions in place of uh, facts, logic, and wisdom. I don't actually watch Joe Rogan, but somebody was playing his reaction to the 100,000 plus uh, protest march in D.C. And uh, Joe Rogan basically rolled really hard against uh, the protesters because of the signs that he was seeing, a lot of the stuff in there. I'm not actually interested in emotional reactions to this. I read every comment, but you know, a lot of people actually try to stir people's emotions up and they do it for whatever reason, many of which you could guess. I'm not interested in doing that here. Rather, just being uh, rational, logical about things. Um, it's significant, and I've been talking about this now for years. People are living in a nutshell of their own making, and they really, really are huffing their own essence, which is a nice way of saying sniffing their own flatulence, and they are completely and hideously detached from facts and reality. Getting on to uh, the primary points of what's going on video now, because there's a lot of stuff that's going on. You should look up uh, House Resolution 559. In summation, it has a lot of uh, legal and uh, politician jargon in it, but what it actually says is that uh, the United States is going after, uh, kinetically going after, going to be going after Iran. They won't allow this, this, and this. It's just... It's a lot of politicians speak. It's kind of like reading legalese, which of course is full of legalese. But the summation of it is, go look it up for yourself if you want to read it yourself, that the United States has uh, said, you know, the finger wagging over Iran is over with. And uh, all, of, all of these things are actually leading up to why, you know, this, uh, you know, this is uh, passed. Um, so once again, actions have consequences. And apparently the world cannot see that. Um, I'm interested in facts. I'm not interested in emotions or taking sides in this video. I'm in support of uh, life and being rational and logical. And if you think that that is like a, uh, 
a, uh, a crazy position to take to be rational and logical and be a support of life, then you probably need to re-examine yourself if you have an issue with that. And that's a demonstrable statement, which is pretty much undeniable from any uh, metric of uh, intellect and wisdom, even intellect alone, much less wisdom. Anyway, Israel said that there would be no halt to what's going on right now, and in their words, that it would last at least an entire year. Uh, they've said that a few times recently, whatever your take on that is, one way or another, but I know A leads to B, leads to C, leads to D. And uh, I was a chess champion in high school. I kind of can see several moves ahead, and I, I can see what's uh, going on uh, here. By the way, U.S. citizens have been warned by the uh, U.S. Uh, government to flee Lebanon ASAP. Get out of Dodge, if you will. It's an old American saying. Get the heck out of Dodge, meaning get out. They know what's going to go down. A second front is about to be opened, and uh, uh, Hassan Nasrallah, you know, the head up there in, uh, of, uh, in Lebanon, of uh, that group, I'm not going to mention the name of the group that he's the head of, you know, has uh, been shaking his fist and says things are about to uh, escalate, and I know that's going to happen. They're warning of escalations, himself uh, specifically, as well as others, and involving a second front. Uh, USS uh, Eisenhower has just passed uh, through uh, the Suez Canal, and it is reaching and going into position. U.S. warships in the, uh, the uh, eastern Gulf and Mediterranean have been conducting exercises. That's actually the propaganda coming out of the Pentagon, but they're not conducting exercises. What they're doing is they're practicing for what is imminently about to happen. This is saying, so, well, that's your opinion. It's like, well, you can think that all you want, but that's exactly what's going on. Um, here's something important you will not see on the news anywhere. I've got a, a one buddy and another uh, contact I have in Israel. I'm not going to give his name. And he said, of course, I've never been to Israel. But he says uh, Israelis are shocked because, like, I don't know if you know about Amish people, but they're essentially anti-conflict. They don't believe in, uh, you know, you know, getting involved in uh, kinetics. I'm going to call it kinetics for sake of the algorithm. Involved in kinetics, like pew pew. <laughs> Hasidics are the same way. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, Hasidic Israelis are basically kind of the same as uh, Amish. They don't believe in, uh, you know, getting into that. But because of uh, what has happened, what your opinion of that is, one way or another, I couldn't care, and I'm not interested in discussing that, which happened on the 7th of last month. He said that Israelis are really, really shocked that Hasidics, which are big peaceniks, are joining the military in mass. He himself, I think he's like 34 years old, uh, uh, my buddy uh, there in Israel, uh, is a peacenik. He's a young guy. He's also was for what your position on this is, is you know, not a concern to me, he's interested in discussing facts. He was always for a two-state solution, and so were all of his buddies. You know, make peace, two-state solution, yada, yada, yada. He tells me, he said, listen, Ken, i got to tell you what. It's like, okay, and I'm interested in facts. I've never been to Israel. He said that him and all of his buddies like him there, that is over with. Like all, and he's a, he's a young Israeli, you know, early 30s. They're all for, you know, you know, make peace, yada, 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 which I would have always thought was incredibly myopic because it is a demonstrable, undeniable fact that you can't make peace with entities whose fundamental uh, commandment number one is, uh, you know, to destroy you. What you think about that one or another, I'm sorry, I don't care. I'm just interested in presenting the facts. That's written in their charter. That's not my opinion or feeling or belief. I mean, it's a fact. People that don't accept facts, you have a problem. It's not my problem. It's your problem. So before you wag your finger at me, then you should look at yourself in the mirror. And it's like, well, he stated a fact, but why am I upset at him for stating a fact? Anyway, people like him, he told me, so that is over with. The, the, the Israeli peaceniks, this is a generalization, but it's still a truism, even though it is a generalization. Yeah, so the people that believe, like him, fellow Israelis, two-state solution and, you know, peace, he said, all of that's out the window. I'm not taking any position on this. I'm telling you what he said. You make of that what you will. I'm interested in presenting facts, not getting emotional and rational and, 
you know, painting my face and holding up signs like a, you know, a doofus, which is exactly what a doofus does, and I am not a doofus. So make of that what you will. By the way, Qatar has uh, threatening a global gas shortage. In other words, they're going to tighten uh, their grip. Several countries have recalled their ambassadors to Israel. Bahrain has engaged the cessation of economic uh, relations with Israel, Bolivia, uh, severing ties with Israel over what's happening, and Colombia and Chile have recalled their ambassadors. Things keep escalating. Once again, the USS Eisenhower has passed through the Suez Canal. The chess piece is being put into position, and a mighty chess piece it is. Well, what I'm not talking about, what nobody else is talking about, because it's on scene, are all the support submarines that are around these vessels, the Ford and the Eisenhower, that nobody can see on top of the water because they're submarines, obviously so. So there's a lot of support stuff that you and I can't see, but it is undeniably there. Escalation right now, I don't think I've ever said this, well, maybe I have said it once, maybe a week ago, but escalation is a 100% certainty. Um, by the way, Agenda 2030, uh, Hydra, as I would like to call them, uh, had a talk recently about, uh, you know, things are going too slow. We need to accelerate the timetable. 2024, i.e. next year, which is here in about a month and a half, well, two months, uh, appears to be uh, the climax point of acceleration, or the linchpin, as I'm calling it, for Hydra. Is the year for uh, completely delegitimizing human independence and any semblance, any semblance of uh, freedoms that uh, you enjoy, and certainly most of you take for granted, especially Americans. The FBI and the CIA and the NSA are hardcore, just 100% full tilt. Past a uh, few weeks, been fear-mongering about, oh, imminent, imminent things are going to happen here in the United States. We've got uh, chatter. They really, when you get put people in a sense of fear, the same with animals, you can herd them, you can do anything, you can get them to do anything. Life, you just fear-monger them, right to the hilt. doesn't affect me at all. I mean, I laugh at this stuff. Even if it's true, I still laugh at it. I'm not worried about it. This is one of the great things about being sovereign and independent. Um... Much the only way you could be more independent is if you had your own bunker in Antarctica with like ten years of food and you know a doctor for medical you know <laughs> it's I'm right at the the tip of the right at the, near the tip of the one percent they don't have any money by the way my bank account is fifty eight dollars yesterday so many bills a lot of property taxes uh, this month so. There's different types of sovereign. There's assets and then there's money. Money itself, when things get dire, are of no use. You, you wipe your backside with that paper. So anyway, FBI and CIA and NSA are fear-mongering like crazy. This is a fear, paralysis, a propaganda in the extreme. There are mass protests in London also, too, in New York City. It's uh, really nasty in London. Also, too, in D.C. Today, literally right now as I speak, by the way, Biden uh, right now is calling for a pause in the conflict, which will not happen. They said it's not going to happen. I'm not going to... I have an opinion on that, but I'm not going to state it because people stating opinions are way too many out there. Opinions are doxa. You know, they're not episteme. Empirical facts, demonstrable objective facts, why you tactically should or should not do something. Anyway, Biden's calls for a, a pause is not going to happen, period for countless logical, demonstrable reasons. I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Just let me know. I read every comment. By the way, colleges uh, have gone completely full tilt uh, cray cray. I'm going to say that humorously. And they really, really have. The stuff that you didn't think you'd see in Harvard, and I knew I'd see stuff like that. A lot of people were not shocked. But they've gone full tilt crazy. A lot of people feel unsafe because other people are emotional and irrational. And uh, they are literally beasts of burden to their own uh, illogical uh, emotions. Uh, like I said, once again, I, I, I don't have any respect for people that let their emotions usurp uh, facts, logic, and reason. I'm sorry, you can take that whatever you will, but I, I don't respect it whatsoever. So these colleges have gone full-on shameful, especially prestigious places like Princeton and Harvard and on and on and on and on. It's just absolutely crazy. None of that shocks me. It should shock you, but it doesn't shock me at all because I know what bastions of uh, upside-down, illogical irrationality these places are. They're the opposite of institutions of higher learning. 
Um, if you, by the way, are not 100% certain that we're on the edge of an orchestrated uh, perfect uh, storm, uh, then I say this slightly humorously, you could possibly be suffering from terminal ignorance. And uh, I don't say that lightly. Um, bad things are happening up in Canada. I keep hearing more and more and more bad things happening out of Canada. You should check this out. Don't take my word for it. Um, Canada's a law against... Uh, you know, uh, erasing other people. I'm going I'm to say this lightly and gently. Canada's law was amended to erase people from existence, uh, agents of the state to erase you. So there's no avenue for us to sue them, i.e. the government or charge them, the one group that's talking about this. You should go look up what Canada just changed the law on. That, that lets, them, lets them erase you from uh, existence. Um, before, it was like, well, this person's really, really sick, and they've only got a couple weeks to live to live, and we're doing this out of kindness. They keep, it's like if you have, uh, you know, some sort of, uh, you know, attachment to something, you know, you know, that you uh, might like to take. It's like, whoa, you know, it's like you could, you could cure that person rather easily. Yeah, but doing so might, you know, they might go through some misery, you know, so, you know, we're, you know, we're going to take them out. I can't believe, I have like countless ends of you, numbers of you have sent me this information on how Canada changed the law. Before it was like, well, just people who are near the end of their journey, and we're just going to, you know, take them out with comfort. We're going to erase them, you know, so that they're not in so much discomfort. Now it's reached, that was absurd enough, now it's reached really, really absurd levels. I'm sorry to hear about the uh, extremely odious and objectionable horrific uh, tyranny that's uh, happening in uh, Kanukistan, uh, but Kanukistan, uh, shame, absolutely shame. Um, what people believe, by the way, is none of my concern. Like I said, I don't listen to and I find odious anything that follows after. Do you believe? I believe. You don't believe like I believe. My God's bigger than your God. You know? <laughs> Anything after uh, belief systems, religion, by the way, is secularized metaphysics. I don't care what anybody believes. I'm not interested in objecting to it one way or the other. Um, it's a problem. You know, what's happening over there, and you know what I mean by over there, uh, is seriously a problem with uh, belief systems, specifically the secularized metaphysics thereof. But the opposite, end, that's just one pole. The other opposite end of the spectrum is atheism. Most people have no idea what atheism is, by the way. Atheism doesn't mean the denial of God. It, by current connotation, does, but that's not what it means at all. These are polar opposites. There are different uh, spectrums of belief system. One's North Pole belief system, the other one's South Pole belief system. One is, of course, um, well, I don't want to pinpoint any of them out, but I mean, they're all lumped into the same arena there. Um, but they are polar opposites. By the way, atheism Remember that old saying that said, uh, you're pointing out the splinter in someone else's eye, but you can't see the log in your own? And this is true for nihilism. And a true atheism, by the way, is called metaphysical atheism. You can go look at that up. Uh, and true atheism is metaphysical atheism. Atheism, by the way, teaches nihil ex nihilo, from naught comes naught. That's the fundamental fallacy. This is the log in the eye of a nihilist, i.e. a materialist. A true atheist, by the way, is a materialist, is a nihilist. It's not my opinion, a feeling, belief. It's a demonstrable fact. Nihil ex nihilo. From not comes not. And on top of this, uh, commandment number two is that uh, first they have to have that miracle where nothing comes from nothing. Something came from nothing. And I don't mean not a thing. Literally, from their premise, nothing. It's like all oh, just random. Also, their Second Amendment is, uh, their uh, second uh, belief or commandment, excuse me, is that if you take a thousand chimpanzees and put them in a room with a thousand typewriters and have these chimps <laughs> banging on typewriters, if you give them like a billion years for a thousand chimps to like flail away on typewriters, <laughs> you do that too good, right? <laughs> there's better. There we go. There's a better joke. <laughs> Just imagine a thousand chimps pounding on a thousand typewriters. Uh, the, the, uh, the heresy thereof, because this is exactly what they espouse. Eventually, given a billion years, those thousand chimps and a, th and a, and a thousand typewriters will produce a multi, multi-volume set of Shakespearean literature. Now, we all know this is 
reductio ad absurdum. There's a great one for you, which basically means bonkers. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Like nuts. Like full tilt nuts. So you have two spectrums of absurdity here. I'm not interested in either one. These are polarities, i.e. antinomies. And what saddens me is 98% of the world thinks that that's all there is. Over here we have uh, religions and belief systems. Yeah. And over here we have materialism and nihilism. That's all there is. You're either one of these or one of these. Like, no, there's something that's inverse of both of those. So this is a source that's been going on for thousands of years that uh, people are, uh, shall we say, upset, and that's an understatement with other people. You know, they don't recognize the humanity of other peoples and vice versa. I do recognize that, but I also, too, understand that actions have consequences. And since I'm not a dumb person, yeah, far from it, I, I know A leads to B and B leads to C. People, you know, that are up there painting their faces and carrying signs in D.C. and other places, they need to be rational and logical, but fundamentally at the core of their being, they are not. They do not have proactive wills and they don't have free will. They are reactive and emotional. And these are people that should not be listened to. Unless it's music or artwork or film. People that are emotional, reactive. Yeah, they make great music and artwork and films and some other stuff. But they should not be listened to when it comes to uh, you know, rational things. And this is a fundamental problem with the world. Belief systems. Okay. Uh, even thinking today of telling the truth has become absolute, ultimate heresy. Uh, nothing on this earth, by the way, to me, well, not just to me, is uh, a finer example of impending disaster. Um, correction is necessary, and of course the whole earth revolves in cycles right now. We're falling off a cliff, we're off that cycle where people are irrational and illogical and they run off of emotions and they have the complete opposite of free will. They think they're their belief systems, and they are not. The only thing that keeps the light of wisdom and truth passing through a person's being and shining out into the world is the dark filter of their ignorances and belief system. Every person is just, they think their ignorances, belief systems is who they are. And what that is is a dark filter over their being that keeps the light of wisdom and truth from passing through and seeing things as they are, being helpful, and uh, following natural order, and that's where the world is right now. It will eventually recorrect itself as you pull the rubber band back so far before it snaps. It's going to snap, and we're right at the breaking point. The rubber band is about to snap. Uh, Hydra's goal, as I humorously call them, is once again to bring everybody to their knees and divide people against each other, and uh, Hydra's uh, Agenda 2030 is in full effect, and they have accelerated it. Um, Gross ignorance and humanity, unfortunately, and I say this unfortunately, has spread like a seemingly unstoppable virus, but it will snap and it will snap back. Ignorance is always a fire that is self-consuming, and humanity, unfortunately, is doing that right now. Um, people are always telling everybody what they believe, and of course, belief is the enemy of wisdom and rationality. Once again, I never listen to anything. I believe, do you believe? My, my God's better than your God. And if you don't believe like I believe, then I believe I don't like you. That's a lot of what's going on right now. That and pure irrational, emotional, uh, knee-jerk emotions. So this uh, whole world currently is mostly, we've reached critical mass, grossly infected with this intellectual cancer that is on full tilt display. Um, right now, I'm going to let you try to read into what I'm saying. I'll let you figure it out, what I'm saying right now. Right now, what I see a lot of, and this is both funny and, her and horrible at the same time, but also, too, completely accurate. I see an awful lot of chickens, you know, the little two-legged feathered creatures. I see, <laughs> I see a lot of chickens that are cheerleading for Colonel Sanders. I'm going to repeat that again. I'm going to let you figure out what that means. It is really only takes two brain cells to figure that out. I see an awful lot of chickens cheerleading for Colonel Sanders. And anybody with half a brain or even less than a half a brain is like, what? That's crazy. Yeah, there it is. Colonel Sanders. 
That's not funny, actually, but it is. Here's some other uh, things. You, you, uh, UK insolvencies, by the way, the number of companies that are going bust is on track to be the highest uh, since the depths of the financial crisis of 2009. Corporate bankruptcies in the United States have risen by over 30% in just the past few months. CVS is permanently closing hundreds of stores. CVS, Walgreens, and Rite Aid are collectively closing thousands of stores. Thousands. Something like 60 plus percent of Americans don't have access to something like 600 to 1,000 dollars. Like any of your tire blows, like you need a new set of tires, or, you know, so your discombobulator on your car, which is out of warranty, you know, breaks down. You know, 1,200 dollar average car fit. 60 plus percent of Americans don't have access to like remember it's between 600 to 1,000 dollars. Let's just call it 1,000, but it's, I think it's like 600 dollars. Everything and groceries keep going higher. I just got $58, no, $60, $62, excuse me. $58 is what was in my bank account yesterday. $62 at uh, Kroger's Grocery. I got nothing. I got two bags of nothing for uh, $62. Two bags of nothing. Actually, I had to transfer because I only had uh, $180 in my PayPal account. I had to transfer $100 of the $180 I got in my PayPal to my checking account. Whew. I work seven days a week. My house is paid for, my car is paid for, and I know I'm struggling. I know how to put two and two together. People out there are, are getting nuttier and nuttier because they're getting closer and closer and closer to the edge their credit cards are maxed out things are getting literally worse by the day economically food's going to go higher interest rates are going to go higher the the bubble is about to burst the same is uh, true with the bottomless printing of money by the u.s government and the reason why they're giving out money like it is air is because uh, they know they're going to reset it uss eisenhower piece is being put into position in the persian gulf the uh, the Ford is in position. Things are going to ramp up. A leads to B, leads to C. It's going to go down. And remember when I told everybody a 72-hour warning last week in that video? Well, it was almost to the hour. People were like, what are you about your warning about 72 hours? Well, that's when it kicked off last Friday. I was like, where were you? Were you? Did you have your head in the sand? It's already started. It's already started. So, I was right on that. I said, it's all going to kick off in about 72 to 96 hours. I fell perfectly within the mark. I said in the video, I said, I don't want to be right about this. I don't want to be right. Well, turns out, of course, that's exactly what happened. It's already started. Wait till next week. And wait for the chess pieces to finally arrive in position, because that's exactly what's happening now. You can deny it all you want, but that's what's going on. Have a lovely day. Peace out, Girl Scout.